Okay, I think we're on. Yes. All right. Welcome, everybody. Um, this is what are we on? Our fourth one now. Yeah. Just getting fourth one. We're getting closer. Um, yeah, it's exciting. Let's see who we have on. We have a lot of great people. Let me see if I can make this bigger. We have, yeah, great. We have a lot of people all right. from all around. Some um, people are showing up. Excellent. Yes. We got just a couple of minutes before we're going to start. See some other people chiming in right now. Um, let me nice. Some people are practicing outside. Good for you. Oh, nice. Yvette, practicing in the forest, I see. Nice. <laughs> If it wasn't for the sound in the background, I'd take you all out and practice by the lake with you. <laughs> um, How's the lighting in here? Is it doing all right? Let's pin ourselves up. Hello, Krista, Carrie. All right, everybody tuning in. Eric, nice to see you. Welcome. Let's um, pin this video. Hello, Colleen. All right. All right. Bang. Now it's a little announcement. So remember to sign up for next week's or next month's uh, classes. And we now have, what is it called? The, oh. what's it called? The, the thing. It's not constant contact. It's the other thing. Thank you. Okay, so there's a subscription now to make it easier for you, so that'll be helpful. Um, yeah, that's an announcement. I think everyone heard that, maybe. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah. Good. I'll give you the stage. All right. Enjoy. Thanks, Bella. All right, guys and gals, some of you already see you. You're moving, you're rubbing your hands together. Excellent. Uh, just go ahead and keep doing that. Move just a little bit to warm up. I'm doing some checking here. I got a couple of different TVs going so I can see who's coming and what's happening. So uh, what Tanya was, or uh, what Bella was just mentioning, Tanya was actually in the background too. She was mentioning it. Um, anyway, don't forget to sign up for next month. If you want to join us, uh, we will be starting a new round next month. And bam. All right. So just go ahead and uh, wherever you're at, some other people may be joining us here momentarily, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and rub your hands together. I'm going to be moving closer in moments. Okay. I'm going to be like way up here. And then in other moments, I'm going to move back here. And I'll even bring the computer down. In fact, I'm going to bring it down a little bit so that you can also see my feet with certain motions that I do. So bear with me. I'm going to be changing those camera angles and different things as we go along. So let's go ahead and start rubbing the hands together. First, you're going to do a clap and rub your hands together vigorously. Then if you are a woman, then place the left hand on the belly first. If you're a man, place the right hand on the belly first. If you're a woman, left hand goes on the belly, right hand comes on top. Guys, it's the opposite. Right hand on bottom, left hand on top. Let's go ahead and try that this way today. Holding lower dantian for a brief moment. Find your breath, notice your breath, whether you're breathing or not breathing. Try and take an inhale through the nose, slowly, gently, easily. Fill your lower belly and then exhale your breath. The exhale begins through the nose and it finishes through the mouth. Once again, when you're ready, inhale through the nose. Hold the breath in the lower belly, and then exhale the breath. Through the nose first, then the mouth. 
One more time. Inhale through the nose. Hold the breath in the belly. Exhale the breath. Good. And go ahead and shake the hands like this, relaxed. Shaking the hands like you have water on them and you want the water off because there's uh, no toilet paper or paper towels. So you need to dry off your hands the old fashioned way. And then bring your hands up. And uh, if I just go back so you can see me here with my hands, I'm gonna go all the way up here shaking, my palms facing toward the front. I can also shake so that my palms are facing each other. Then bring the backs of the hands, brush the pants. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. Bring that right hand up the left arm or vice versa. Come all the way at the top of the chest, go across, come down, all the way down to the hand, come back up the outside. Tap on the shoulder up here if you need a little extra boost. Use your other hand, tapping. Trying to cup there if you can, cup your hands. Tapping back here, other side. Coming down the arms. Bring yourself down to the thighs. Down the front of the legs. Drum roll on top. Down the channel on the sides, tap it. Back to the front. Let me channel here a little bit. Step yourself out like a horse stance. Bend the knees a little bit. From here, feel heavy in your butt, regardless of how deep you're sitting or not. Feel heavy in your butt. A little bit of a seated-like position. First, find that grounding. Begin to shift your weight. Here, this is side to side. Then you can also kind of get like a circular thing going on. And you're just doing this a little bit, making a circle. I don't know how well you can see that. I'll try and make it a little bigger so you can see it. But I want you to do a smaller circle. It's just going around one direction, clockwise, for example, with my head. But not just my head, my torso. I actually want to be moving from lower down to end. And then I want to go back the other way. So whatever direction you were going, you want to move the other way. And again, not so much from the head, but from the torso, slow. Mindful circle, swing back, check the other direction. Go back the other way. This is a little uh, very basic drunken Kung Fu practice, but it's actually a Qigong exercise. Bring the thighs up to a place where you can tap them, tap them out a little bit. Bring the hands out as you sit, just with the hands first. Slow, slow, slow. Walk down your stress, walk down your mind, walk down the energy. Let the exhale come, maybe. Let the inhale come here. Slow, exhale here. Inhale here. The majority of that exhale is through the mouth, different than yoga. Inhale through the nose. Inhale. Exhale, first nose, then mouth. It's mostly mouth. You can go some through the nose, then mouth. Good, bring your feet together. <clears throat> Take your feet now and with your right leg, kind of go back on it somewhat of like a 45 degree angle, slide off to the side, stagger your legs. The way I taught this last week was like if you're on two balance beams as opposed to one balance beam, it, you're gonna be very wobbly. 
So go on to two balance beams and then slightly turn your feet just to kind of screw them into the ground and bring your weight to this position here. The next movement that we're going to do is bring your hand up, your right hand. I'm going to do my right hand anyway. I'm going to look at the palm, whichever one's easier for you to follow me along with. And then from here with the elbow, I'm going to reach toward my backside. Now, without twisting my waist, that's as far as I can go. So now what I want to do is I want to twist my waist and my belly button to where my knees and my hips go pretty much as far as they can go without hurting myself. I want to reach with that hand. And as the hand comes down here, I want to now turn. Don't just pull your hand in. Turn from your belly button and bring the hand. So from here, I'm going to reach with my elbow, turn from the navel center, kind of go to a twist as much as I can with that stance. As this hand gets to about my hip, let's say, I'm going to twist my pelvis and bring it this way. So I go here and I exhale here. Oh. Doesn't have to be that much, but I want you to hear me. So I go here, a little bit of an inhale perhaps, and here, a little bit of an exhale here. Inhale. Oh. And in between the inhale and exhale, we have inhale, hold the breath in the lower belly, and then exhale. Bring the right foot up, touch the left foot. From this position, once again, we're going to kind of go off to like a 45 degree angle. Slide out, place the feet, kind of turn them so you kind of corkscrew them in. It's basically like your martial arts or your Tai Chi or whatever stance. Kung Fu stance, at least one of them. You're like this, from this position here with your elbow reaching back, turn your pelvis and your belly button, and then don't just bring the arm, bring your whole pelvis, bring your torso, turn, turn, bring this hand. Here, inhale, here, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, as I look back this way, and I look to the front. Gather your chi from behind. One more. Bring it to the front, bring your feet up. Step out to a horse stance. Waterfall here, or sometimes this one's referred to as bringing down the heavens. Push, become grounded. Hold your hands down there for a moment. Get grounded, get rooted, heavy. When you're ready, inhale, exhale. We did this one last week. We're gonna come up with the hands, palm, palm up. Thumbs go toward my back, turn the hands over and come down. So we can bring the hands all the way into the front. We can turn the hands over. Okay, thumbs go back like they're going behind you. Okay, don't like hurt your shoulders or anything, just go to where it's comfortable. And then here, turn them over. And as you turn them over, bring your weight down a little bit. I like to think of this as like it's a bird like movement. You're going here and here. So, first, just the movement without the breath, leave the breath alone and turn it over and sink. Come up, here, excellent uh, lung exercise once we incorporate the breath here in a moment, especially, and sink, come up, there's the exhale. Here, this is a little harder, slow inhale through the nose all the way to here and try and time it, and now exhale. Slow inhale, slowly inhaling to where your inhale finishes, and then exhale. That's gonna take some work to synchronize all of that. Inhale, exhale. Now you're trying to breathe slow and low to your belly, all the way down to your belly. Hold it in your belly for a second. And then exhale. That takes some practice. So slowly inhaling. If you're filled up, you hold it in the belly. 
and then exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Bring the hands to the front. Same kind of motion, like you have wings. Like sometimes we do this kind of hugging the tree pose and we're stationary, but this is like wings. In, come out. Press, push away. Press in, not that that hard, just a little. Push and push and push and push away and come in and push away, come in and push away, come in, go big. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your hands to where your left hand, put it on your chest. Put your left hand on your chest. Now turn it away from you. Put your right hand on your navel center. Now turn it away from you. And this is the position that we want, okay? Everybody with me? Hands on the chest, left hand, right hand on the dantian, lower dantian. Left hand turns to the front, right hand turns to the front. This is the position we want. From that position, bend your knees, a little bit of a bent stance, some stability here, okay? You can bounce slightly, check your footing and your grounding and so on. So from here, just the movement of the hands, just extend your arms. Do not lock out your elbows, just extend your hands forward. Bring the hands back. So right now, just the movement without the breath. Extend the hands forward. Bring the hands in. Extend the hands forward. Bring the hands in. Extend the hands forward. We're gonna do it one more time. Bring the hands in. Extend the hands forward. Now place your hands back where we started. Left hand on chest, right hand on navel center. All right, get ready. Left hand goes to the navel center, right hand comes up to the chest. So we're reversing the position of the hands, okay? So your right hand should be on your chest, left hand on your navel center. From this position, face both hands forward, extend your arms forward, make sure your arms are not fully extended, just maybe like three quarters. Bring the hands in, draw them to you, push away. Draw them to you, push away, draw them to you, push away. One more time, draw them to you, push away. Put your hands back where we were, right hand on top, left hand on bottom. We're going to switch them. Right hand's gonna come down, left hand's gonna come up. We're back to where we started initially. Left hand is on top, right hand is on the bottom. Now place both hands, Extend it outward. Now we're gonna do this with the breath. As you move your hands forward, exhale your breath. Go, ha. Ah. Some type of exhale for right now. Slow through the nose as you bring the hands back. Breathe in, slow through the nose and fill your belly. And then hold your breath in your belly for a count of one, two, or three. And then exhale your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Good. Take both of your hands now. High hand, place it on the heart. Left hand. Right hand, low hand, press it, up. Press it against the lower belly. From this position, switch the hands. Right hand comes up high, left hand goes down low. Right hand's on your chest, left hand is on your belly. Turn your hands over. From here, before you even move, inhale through your nose, fill your belly. From here, extend the hands and exhale. Now from here, inhale and exhale. 
From here, inhale and exhale. Keep going, a few more times. I wanna take a look at you guys and watch you practice for a minute. I'm gonna take a closer look so that I can possibly give you all some feedback on your practice. Now remember, don't extend the elbows fully, only about three quarters. Now when you do that, draw in, drawing in, okay? Go slow and try and match the speed of your breath with your hand movement. This, this is what it's all about. You have to match the speed of your breath. You're trying to fill your lower belly at the same time you're moving your hands. If you move your arms too quick and it's faster than the breath, it's not gonna do you as much good. And wherever you're at with that, bring your hands back to your chest and your belly, okay? So right now, if your right hand, looks like everybody has uh, got their right hand on their chest. So if you got your right hand on your chest, I want you to switch it now. Right hand goes to the belly button, left hand goes to the chest. Now turn your hands facing outward toward the camera, so to speak, computer, whatever. And now from here, just with the movement, extend your arms out. Don't worry about the breath right now, extend your arms out. Slowly, when you're ready, pull them back in. And as you pull them back in, breathe very slow through the nose. Try and fill the belly breath. And then as you hold the breath for a second, then exhale the breath. Yes. And that right hand, Eric, turn it so that the fingertips are pointed toward the floor. Yes. So you have one hand pointed down, one hand is pointed up. And then bring those hands in to you from that position and then exhale and then kind of push away from that position. Yes, good, okay, good. Go with me just a little bit longer here. Try and time that inhalation, try and time that exhalation. Let your, yes. Now Tom, when you pushed away, you relaxed and sat down. Sit down as you're pulling it to yourself. Sit down the whole time. Relax the shoulders, pull down, exhale, push away. Yes, stay seated the whole time. And try and match the speed of your breath with the movement of your hands. Some of you have shorter breaths, so you're going to have to uh, go quicker. Some of you have longer breaths, so you're gonna be able to do the movement for a longer period of time. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Now bring your hands, so like I'm looking at Sarka, I'm looking at you, hello. And I want you to take your left hand, I want you to put it on your chest. Boom, your right hand on your belly. Yes, now switch your hands. Everybody else the same, switch your hands. So right hand now is on top of the chest, left hand is on the belly, turn your hands so that they face away from you. Your Right hand should be pointed fingertips toward the ceiling. Your left hand should be pointed fingertips toward the floor. Extend your hands forward. Go ahead and extend them forward. And then slow, very mindful. Inhale through your nose and try and fill your belly with belly breath. And then exhale your breath as you push away. Very good. Do that a couple more times. A couple more times. Excellent. From that position back into this uh, pulling down the heavens or the waterfall, you sink your weight, you lift up, whole body being comes up mostly, your feet are glued to the floor though. And then from here as you sit, you exhale. Come up. Pick up the whole earth with this one. Pull down the whole heaven with this one. Inhale. Exhale. I'm exaggerating the breath. Now I want you to try that also. 
Inhale, hold the breath in the lower Dantian. Exhale, like a sumo. Oh, let that breath out at the bottom. Pick it all up. Hold the breath. Exhale. Oh, inhale. Pick it all up. Exhale. Oh, let it all drop right there. Inhale. Exhale. Oh, one more. Inhale, exhale, good. Find your rooted feet, just kind of connect. Make sure your feet are stuck on the floor. I have to change my camera for you to see my feet for a moment. <clears throat> Here's the feet again. Screw them into the floor. My floor is very sticky here. Yours may be slippery or whatever, but kind of dial one foot in, dial the other foot in, lock them in place, a slight bend here so that now you're ready. Like if I'm playing sports, if I'm playing football and I'm running and I want to stop and turn real quick, I need to get down first before I then go. So this is the same idea here, get down. That's where your power is, and that's where your connection to the earth is. From here, though, this becomes a little bit, this is where we get Qigong-ish. This is like a field of energy, okay? So flap your wings a little bit, but don't just flap wings. This is just flapping wings. Energetic push-pull, like magnets here, and then get them out there to the side, sometimes called a Wuji stance. Staying in tree meditation. This immediately after the practices we've already done causes me to shake inside. Already, I just have a lot of chi, blood, everything coursing through my body. If you don't have that yet, in time you will. And you may say, what the heck is that? Now, in order to keep that running through my body, do you think it would be wise for me to stand very tall? and just almost fall over? No, I need to root myself down because I need to be able to handle this energy that's coming in. Because it's gonna make some of you, your heart is gonna shake. It might even palpate. You need to take your mind, this is the best way I can teach it to you, but you, you need to take your mind and you need to let your mind sit here. And your mind needs to sit in your feet. And so when your heart starts shaking and you start getting that raciness because chi is coming plus maybe some anxiety is coming or whatever, depending on what you're clearing, you need to stay rooted here. So when the wind blows, you don't get knocked over. Now your legs should be working. Your upper body should be very relaxed. It's holding this position, but it should be very relaxed. Stay with it and watch your breath just for another moment. Use your breath, inhale through your nose, hold it in your lower belly, exhale your breath. Good job. Wherever you're at, relax out your heart. Little bounce, shake it out, shake out one foot, shake out the other foot. Shake out one foot, shake out the other foot. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Okay. Listen carefully before I take you on to the next part of this practice. So while you're listening to me, go ahead and take a couple of regular breaths in. Just breathe in, breathe out. Listen carefully to the instructions on how this breath works because you're then gonna try and do it and make it better than whatever you did last time. So, this is a very different breath than a yoga breath. Typically with yoga, you breathe in through the nose, you exhale through the nose, and the idea behind that is you calm everything down. Qigong is not like that, at least not, the, not this kind, the particular kind I'm teaching you today, not like that. And it is a very old practice that was done right alongside of and gave birth to martial art. And in martial art, 
you can't just inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose and have very much power in your movements, your strikes, and so on. So there's this idea of building internal power. You breathe. Let me try and show it to you one time. First, I'm going to exhale through my nose. Hmm. I'm going to make it obvious. Hmm. Now I'm going to inhale through my nose. That takes time to go that slow and that long, but I'm going to put it here. Now I'm going to exhale it here. Hmm. Now I'm going to let go of mouth. Ah. Let's try it together. Find a stance like the one we did when G stance or just standing there. Slow inhale through the nose. Put your hands right here because I want you to feel if you're breathing into your belly or not. So I want you to try and lift your hands with your inhale. Whenever you're ready, go for it. I'm going to talk you through this. Everybody's going to be a different place with it. Inhale, try and raise your hands. When your hands raise, try and hold to a count of one, two, or three, whatever you can handle. Exhale your breath first through the nose, then the rest of it through the mouth. When you're ready, do it again. Inhale through the nose. Try and raise your hands. Most of you, it's going to feel very tight here. It's going to be hard to raise your belly. It'll just feel tight. There's a reason for that. It's called stress. It's called build up in the second brain, build up in the lower dantian, build up in the emotional body. So we need to clear that up. So we inhale through the nose. We raise the belly to the best of our ability. We hold for a count of one, two, or three, whatever you can handle there. You exhale initially through the nose, and then you finish through the mouth. Just a couple more times, wherever you're at with that. Inhale through the nose, try and raise the belly. When you raise the belly, you're gonna exhale. When you exhale, you begin through the nose, and then you finish through the mouth. When you're done with your last round of that, go ahead and take three deep breaths, regular deep breaths. We're gonna break away from that for a second, go to another exercise. We're gonna come back to an exercise I already taught you earlier, and we're gonna apply that breath to it right now. We're gonna do a little brain break. We're gonna move in a different direction. Take your feet, put them together like so. Go off on a 45 degree angle, find that somewhat solid stance. Namely, I just don't want you to fall over. So find a stance where you're not gonna fall over. From this position, we did an exercise last week. I wanna show you this one again. We, uh, one of the ways I taught this to you was to imagine like you're holding a broomstick. So uh, you can place right hand on top, left hand on bottom, as long as your right foot is back. This is one way of doing it. I'm going to extend my arms forward. I'm going to make a circle like I'm drawing, like I'm stirring a big soup. I'm going to lean a little bit back toward my right leg. When my arms can't move anymore, I'm going to bring my hands close to my chest. I'm going to bring them very close to my chest. Now I'm going to start to turn my pelvis toward the front. I'm going to push the stick in the soup. I'm going to go out toward my right side and toward my back, and I'm turning my pelvis, turning my pelvis. I bring the hands close to my chest. I turn the pelvis as I move toward the front, and I'm stirring the soup. The hands move, the arms are somewhat extended. I turn from the pelvis, I bring the hands close to my body, and I push the stick. And now I circle the stick by turning my hips. I pull it into me before I turn, now I turn. As I turn, I stir the suit. Hands come into me, I push out, and I just switched my hand. You can do that as well. It's good sometimes to switch the hands. I'm going with my left hand on top now. I am pushing toward the front. I turn from the pelvis. When I can't turn anymore, my knees and hips go, can't turn anymore. I bring the hands close to my chest and I come out. So let me come close just so you can see what I'm doing here a little closer. I'm going to bring this and I'm gonna keep extending it. When I can't turn anymore, 
I want to bring this close to my chest that looks like this. I have this close to my chest. It's not touching. There's a magic to this, by the way. You have a tremendous amount of strength right here, especially if you understand chi, internal chi practices like Tai Chi, Kung Fu. This gap right here, I'm trying to show you, I can't really show you, but I'm about this far. I'm like this far away from my chest. When you have a little bit of a field of energy between you and your chest and your fists are put together, it is amazing how strong you can be right here, okay? How powerful of a movement this is. You're creating not just a physical thing, but a field thing. This comes out to the front. I circle it toward my back, and I'm going to bring it around, push. I'm going to pull. That's a little bit more of a pulling motion. This becomes a little bit more of a push. Not much, just a little. And I'm going to pull. And I'm going to push. As I push, there's a little bit of an exhale there. As I draw like this, there might be a little bit of an inhale. I might put a little inhale there. Here becomes a little bit of an exhale. And if this is making you hot, congratulations, it must be working for you. And then push. From this position here, I'll bring my feet together. I'm going to step my left foot back behind me now. I'm going to switch my hands. My right hand is on top. I'm holding a broomstick. I move the hands. I bring them close to my chest. I turn the pelvis to the front. I push, I stir the suit, pull, and push. Pull, turn from the pelvis, and push. Turn from the pelvis, my belly button's facing the front. As my hands go to my left, my belly button's going to my left. My belly button's going to my left. My belly button's going almost to my backside. I turn it to the front, and this comes forward. One, ah, exhale. Little inhale, maybe. Exhale. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Come up, feet together. Drop, sit. Slow inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose and mouth. Inhale, nose, hold it in the belly. Exhale, nose. <sighs> Let it come through the mouth. <sighs> Inhale, hold it. Exhale, nose, mm, mouth. Take your left hand, put it off to the side. Take your right hand, put it on your belly button. From this position with the right hand, slow. Don't worry about the breath right now. Make a sweeping motion moving up the body. This is called pulling up the sea of chi or bringing up the sea of chi. From here, hold like third eye area. And then from here, Begin to extend down, 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 and then shift your stance and pull your arm a little bit to cover the bottoms of the fingers. From that position, bring the right hand out to the right. Let the left hand draw some of the energy that we've been building up in the lower belly, building up in the lower dantian. Walk it, walk it, walk it, walk it. From this position, start to turn your pelvis a little bit and start putting that energy down, the arm slow, 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 walk it right past the fingertips. Turn the pelvis again, left hand goes out to the outside, right hand climbs up the front, climbing, slow, bring the chi, bring the chi, bring the chi, exhale, <sighs> down the fingers. Here, if you desire, little inhale, slow, inhale, 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 slow, inhale, here, exhale. Turning the pelvis. Come back to the center. Right hand walks up the front. Walking, 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 walking. From here, slow down the arm. Slow, slow, slow. Exhale. Inhale. Here, exhale, ha. Inhale, exhale. Excellent. Now we're gonna do that same exercise and I want to talk to you about that breath again. So I want you to do an experiment for me, if you would, at home. 
Here's what I want you to do. I want you to slowly, when you're ready, I want you to take, first do a little bit of an exhale. Let me tell you what to do first and then do it, okay? So exhale first, go ha. Ah. Then inhale through the nose. Then hold that breath in the belly. Hold it, count to three or something. And then just from your mouth, everything, just go ah. And when you're ready, I want you to do it again. Inhale through your nose. Hold the belly. And then just dump the breath, just ah. Now, what I want you to notice in that, I'm going to have you do it one more time. While you're doing it, I'm going to tell you something. When you do that, I want you to notice your chi just goes away. So you inhale, you hold the breath in the belly that gives you some good chi, and then you just dump it. Ah, chi goes away. So what we want to try and do with this type of breathing is you breathe in through the nose, do it again, and fill your lower belly. Now hold the breath in your lower belly, count to one, two, or three, and after that breath, slowly exhale your breath. Do it through the nose first. Capture some of that chi, don't let it all go away. Then let it out through your mouth. Let it out through the nose, a little bit, little bit, little bit, then let it out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, hold it, let a little bit out through the nose, then let the rest out through the mouth. That is one of the primary forms of breathing that we use when we practice together. All right, good job. Shake your hands like this. Oh, exhale your breath. Bring the hands up. We did this at the beginning, shaking off water. Brush the hands. One, two, three, four, five. From here, tap your arm. Come on up. Walk across the top of your chest. Go down. Come back up your arm. Shoulder. Chest. Chest. Shoulder. Very good for the lungs. Back. Cap, cap, come down, legs, cap inside, cap outside, down the outside, come up the inside, down the outside, up the inside, cap. Get a nice drum roll going right here below your knees. Very careful, guys. Can't move slow. Knees. Plant your feet. Find a nice stance, lest you get too lightheaded. Hold your Wuji posture. This should be a strong posture in the legs. So if the wind blows, you don't get blown over. Find your breath. You're going to need to use it because there's some shakiness coming. There's some heat coming. Blood coming, stress coming, whatever's coming. Good stuff, not so good stuff. You need to stay anchored. Observe that saliva. Observe what's going on in your nose, ears, and throat. Hold that posture, strong posture. Watch your temperature, watch the breath, watch the saliva. Try and stay with it. Use your breath to stay with it. Now I want you to try something that's similar to a yoga breath. You're gonna inhale through the nose. You're gonna hold it in the belly. And because you're not doing a bigger type of movement, you're being still. You're going to let the breath out only slowly through the nose. So it's in through the nose, into the belly. Hold it in the belly for one, two seconds. Exhale the breath all through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. We're going to try that for about 60 seconds.
Try and bring your attention to the area called your third eye, frontal lobe, right between your eyebrows. And try and practice a state of calm. Meanwhile, you're anchored and powerful, connected in your legs and your feet. You're holding the upper body still. And shake it out. Shake out your legs, tap out your legs. Let's put a couple of these practices together that we did earlier, come back to them and kind of integrate them. So we have this long exercise. Bring your hands up like so. Circle them back, thumbs going toward the back behind you like a big bird's wings, lifting up and coming down. Up, behind, reach up and come down. Up, back, up, exhale. Ah. Inhale, hold the breath right there, exhale. Ah. Inhale, slow, easy, your speed. Ah. Ah. Slow, forget the breath for a minute, just the hands. They move, they lift up a little, they turn over, thumbs in, and push and settle down. My hands turn over, I can lift up, this is one way of doing it. The hands keep lifting, thumbs moving toward my back, the back of my head, for example, when your shoulders are like, okay, I can't go anymore, that's where you stop. And then from here, turn your thumbs over and then palms press and sink. So you come up, hands go back, they reach up and then they circle over and press down, up. Inhaling there if you desire, exhaling here. Oh. Coming up slow, your speed. Inhale, exhale. Oh. Two more of these. Oh. Once you understand that one, later we can also incorporate this arching back. So when you're inhaling, you can also be arching back. Exhale. Now go ahead and bring your right hand and place it on your lower belly. Left hand on upper chest. I told you we would be coming back to this one. Hold the hands there for a moment. Right hand, fingertips toward the floor. Left hand, fingertips toward the sky. From this position, sink your weight and Extend forward. I draw this in. I extend forward. I inhale through the nose. Hold it in the belly. And then I go. Shh. Hold it in the belly. And I go. Shh. Not too hard, not too crazy. Just a little bit of SH sound. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, hold, exhale. One more, exhale. Now, take your right hand, put it on the belly. Left hand, put it on the chest. Now take your left hand and walk it down. Take your right hand and walk it up. We're on the other side now. There's more complicated switches but I have some of you that are new and so on, so I want to show it to you the slightly easier way. 
So right hand turns, left hand turns, fingers are pointed down. Right hand, fingers are pointed up. I'm going to express forward. I'm going to draw in. I'm going to express forward. When I come in, I breathe in. Here, I exhale. Inhale. Again, inhale. Inhale. One more. Inhale. Anybody get hot? Inhale here. Exhale here. Show you my hands. From this position here, the next movement. I want you to point your fingers toward the floor. Turn it over so your thumbs are out to the outside and now your fingers are pointed back down toward the floor. Okay, so we're here, roll, turn. So we start here, roll, turn. Now close your fingers, put your thumbs over the top. Draw your elbows in. Okay, so from the beginning, fingertips down, roll the hands over. Okay, You're from here, close fingers, thumb goes over, draw the energy in. Press, roll, draw in. From the beginning of what I showed you so far, press, roll, close, draw in. One more time. Press, roll, close, thumbs, draw in. From this position here, the hands will then come forward and turn over. It's like two punches, but don't get too crazy with it. It's just stick your arms out. From this position, let's just turn the hands over and bring it back to this position. So we get this here. We roll the hands. We draw in. There's a little bit of an in-breath there. And then here we're going to make a sound that dissipates stress, liver chi stagnation, agitation. You're going to go, ha! Make a ha sound. Then from here with your fingertips, you're gonna open them and you're gonna go ho. From here, the fingers, that's the whole exercise now. The hands roll, turn over, close, bring the hands in. You're holding your breath here at some point, that's what you'll be doing. Here you go ha, here. Oh, dissipate. So check it out now. All of this becomes an inhale. That's an inhale. This is an exhale. Ha! Oh, this is all inhale. Hold the breath. Here, exhale the breath. Ha! Oh, inhale. Hold the breath. Here, exhale. Ha! Hold. Inhale, hold. Exhale. Ha! Hold. Inhale, hold. Exhale. Ha! Hold. One more. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Ha! Ho. Waterfall, come up. Inhale, sit, exhale. Ho. From this position, put your hands on your knees a little, be heavy in your legs, whatever that looks like for you. It could look like this, whatever it looks like, but some degree of this. Hands, heavy, legs. Place hands on torso. Turn and look this direction a little bit. The feet stay planted on the floor. Don't hurt your knees or hips. Grounded, rooted, heavy, heavy in the leg. 
pivot, nothing fast, nothing crazy, just heavy, weighted, 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 grounded. Pivot, switch to your left or your right, and come to the other side, shift your weight. One side, shift your weight, other side, shift weight, shift weight. Good, tap out your leg. I want you to go ahead and take your metal, two middle fingers, place them together at the lower rim of your belly button. Place your hands flat against the belly. Feet are just roughly shoulder width apart, maybe a little wider, something that's comfortable relatively. Knees slightly bent. In time, guys, when you practice this, if you do for 100 hours or so, let's say, over time, you go to this position and it's like flipping a switch. Automatically puts you in a deeper state of meditation. To begin with, you're just standing here. You're not even really sure what this pose means, what you're supposed to be doing. It takes some discipline. And I could easily spend our entire time explaining just this exercise to you. I'm just using this exercise today as our final meditation. Those of you who've trained before, you've heard this before, and it's good to hear it again. Those of you for the first time, you want to use your mind your awareness, your attention that sits right there between your eyebrows at the front of your head. If you've ever concentrated on anything in your life, you'll find that concentration lives there, so to speak. And then you want to take that concentration and you want to put it in your feet because if you don't, you might fall over during this exercise. And then you want to take your attention, your awareness, your concentration, those are really the same thing for our purposes, and you want to place that where your middle fingers are, right at the lower rim of that navel center. And you want to grin and bear this exercise. You want to tough it out. You want to hold this for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, and so on. Three minutes at the end of a session like the one we just did, some of you, this will light you on fire. You will sweat profusely. If you're not already sweating, you will be after this exercise. This sets you on fire right where your fingers are. What did I call that area? We call that area lower dantian. What's another name for that area? Emotional body. What's another name for that area? Japanese martial arts, we call it the hara. What's another name for that area? The second brain. What's another name for that area? It's called the place where your past lives. What's another name for that area? The unconscious. So why would we want to set the unconscious on fire? Why would we want to set the past on fire? Why would we want to set our neuroses on fire? Why would we want to set on fire all of these old neural patterns and pathways? that no longer work for us? Why would we want to burn them clean? I'm going to tell you what it's also the house of. Because it's the house of your emotional body, it's also the house of your subconscious, which also means it is the house of your addictions. So you want to know where addiction lives? You're holding the area where addiction lives. You want to kick a habit? You want to kick an addiction? Try on Qigong for size because this will set fire to the forest. Listen carefully for those that this makes sense to. It will set fire to your forest of yesterday. 
it'll set it on fire. Anything you're still struggling with, any habit, any bad sort of neuroses that plagues you and gets in your way, this sets it on fire. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Oh, let the hands come down, open and close them for a moment. We're gonna finish a very short exercise of waterfall. I want you to get grounded, sit your weight down, horse stance, get grounded. That can make some of you a little wonky. Hands come up, don't worry about your breath, just hands. Hands come up slow. Hands are gonna slowly walk the chi down. Walk it down, walk it down, walk it down. Calm the mind, calm the breath, calm the organs, calm the sweat, calm the heat. Slow, slow, slow. Walk it down, walk it, walk it down, walk it down, walk it down, walk it down. One more. All right, take three deep breaths. Excellent job, thanks for going through with it. So I'm gonna move closer to this one. All right, so a couple of things, a few things, okay? In a brief, relatively brief conclusion, but a few important key pieces, okay? Notice when we're practicing, at least from this kind of Qigong and everything I've learned in my life over the last 30 plus years of doing these things, my martial arts, my Qigong practices, they all revolved around this. My medical Qigong practices all revolved around this. Lower Dantian, lower Dantian, lower Dantian, lower Dantian, lower Dantian, and then light up the upper chakras, then open up the gateway through the spine, then open up the different pathways but manage your lower dantian. A lot of people in different types of disciplines, understandably so, they want to skip the lower chakras. All of your problems, all of your challenges, all of your neuroses, all of your addictions, they come from the lower chakras. If you've taken a seminar with me, you've heard me talk about those things before. I'll talk about them a lot because it's not enough to just hear about them if you want to have the benefit of the alchemy, the changing, the shifting of the lower chakras, you have to work through them. So what's the first chakra? It's the root. What's the second chakra? It's the navel center, it's the house of the emotional body. What's the third chakra? Sometimes called the power center, solar plexus, has to do with metabolism. When you're practicing breath like this, did anybody, can I see a show of hands, anybody here today get hot while you're practicing? Anybody? Nobody got hot? Some of you got hot. Anyway, when you're practicing and you do this more and more, oh my goodness, you'll burn, you'll burn from the inside out, but then it turns to where it cools you off. There's a balancing out that happens. There's a heat, there's a fire. And when we're doing our movements, that's why I'm always talking about that lower Dantian, put your focus there, put your mind there. Anyway, something to meditate on. And again, like I said, in Japanese martial arts, we call that area the Hara. It's a source of power, okay? But for a lot of people, it's a source of uh, congestion. Uh, so anyway, thanks so much for coming out and practicing with me. It's great to see you guys. And um, last announcement, uh, as we mentioned earlier, in case some of you missed it, um, sign up for next month if you haven't already and you want to. And also, just FYI, I'm going to be doing uh, on May 16th, Saturday, May 16th, I am going to be teaching a five hour program, I believe it's five, yeah, five hours, um, from one to six on uh, medical Qigong for the peaceful warrior. And some of you took that in Wilmington, but it's gonna have some different uh, applications and varieties, healing work, Qigong exercises, et cetera, et cetera. So if you wanna join me, check that out on the website. Thank you guys, have a fantastic day. Oh, lastly, this is recorded, okay? In about a half hour, I'm gonna have this up. And you all have access to it. So if there's something you want to go back and review and watch, please do. Uh, learn it better for next time. All right. Thank you, guys. Take care, everybody.